Hey, it's Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Joining me right now, I have Julie Hu. She is the CEO of Lark Health. Julie, great to have you with us. Great to be here, Jess. All right, so I was super impressed. I saw you speak at Exponential Medicine, and I was super impressed with Lark Health. And, and that's saying a lot, because you guys are a chronic condition management company, and this is a big big and crowded space. So before we dive too much further in, I want you to have the opportunity to introduce Lark Health to everybody who's watching. Tell us a little bit about what you guys do. Great. So Lark is really here for helping chronic patients and those that are at risk of chronic conditions okay. to really manage their lives in a happier and healthier way. So we're here as a conversational AI healthcare company to really provide massive scale to uh, care. Okay. And now you guys specifically address diabetes, pre-diabetes. I think I read you guys are the second largest pre-diabetes prevention program in, in the country. In the country. Um, and then you guys also deal with hypertension and what else? Yeah, so smoking cessation, mm. uh, we deal with obesity and um, sleep, and we're actually launching uh, a prevention program which is really dealing with more clinical but broad-based uh, issues like um, stress and behavioral health. Okay, so tell me, I mean, in some detail here, how it works. So you had said you guys are using con conversational AI. So talk me through, I guess, the, the patient experience and how this is different from some of the other solutions that might be out there that focus on one-on-one -on -one live coaching or that might focus more on, like, a fully digital experience. So tell me what you guys are doing. Yeah, so as a patient myself, I've had a chronic condition all my life, what I realized was that I really needed constant care. And so that meant, you know, 11.30 at night when I was feeling a little down about my condition. And so what we do is one-on-one -on -one text messaging 24-7 okay. anytime you need it. Uh, and the way that we do that is by working with great health experts from Harvard, from Stanford, really automating these gold standard care protocols, and then providing text messaging based on the user's data mm -hmm. and their personal preferences, and text messaging in real time uh, at 11 o'clock at night or whenever they need help. Okay, and then how are you augmenting that with, a, with the human side of it? Because yeah. I'm sure it's not just the text messaging. Yeah, so we really try to focus on um, you know, small little interventions at the time of need. So we, we augment that in a couple of ways. We augment that with devices, so mm -hmm. we deliver the glucometer or the blood pressure monitor for our diabetes patients, our hypertension patients. Uh, and then we do mainly one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is automated based on AI and machine learning, natural language processing, where we're really chatting with the, with the patient at the times when people really need help. So those triage points mm -hmm. like a hypoglycemic event will absolutely predict those issues, escalate them to a live nurse, um, and usually we work with our health partners, uh, like major health plans, to use their clinical ne nurse networks mm -hmm. um, who get the information about that patient in real time and then can triage and really, you know, manage at the top of their license. Okay. I want to ask, because like we said, this is a crowded space right now, especially in the world of digital health and yeah. digital therapeutics. So, I mean, you've got, and you've got some market leaders who are emerging. So You've got Livongo out there. You've got Omada. You've got the pair therapeutics guys. I mean, the Click. There's a bunch of them that are building these different digital solutions. So, how does Lark Health? How do you set yourself apart? What's so different? At the core of it, we think that we are a tech-first and consumer-first DNA company. And so, what that provides, I think, is scale. Okay. Um, we have treated close to 2 million patients on our platform, which is pretty significantly larger uh, than the, our partners in the space mm -hmm. who are really using a more uh, nurse call center telemedicine approach. Uh, and the way that we do that is with conversational AI. We're able to send and receive hundreds of millions of text messages. Um, and so if we had live nurses yeah. doing uh, the text messaging, um, we probably would have close to 15,000 full-time wow. coaches and nurses. Okay. So we feel like the, the 
uh, text messaging using conversational AI is the only way to scale a hugely epidemic problem that at the end of the day, there's not enough doctors and nurses to help with the chron chronic disease epidemic and solve it. Julie, can you say who you guys are working with? Um, any, of, any of your customers that you're working with? I mean, two, almost two million patients enrolled on this. Like, this has got to be somebody big. So who are, <laughs> who are you working with? We are working with uh, the major national health plans. Okay. So we work with many of Fair the enough. large <laughs> national health plans. I know. I'm, um, and uh, a lot of large regional health plans. We do work with some jumbo employers and go direct. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we work with some PBMs that are quite large. Okay, fantastic. No, and that sounds par for the course. So I mean, legit. Yeah. So give us a sense of where Lark Health is as, as a business. Um, where are you guys at? How much money have you raised? Uh, give us a sense of, of financially what, what you guys are doing. Yeah. So um, we are a growth company, uh, VC backed. So we have raised around forty-five or so million, um, and we're close to a hundred. Um, uh, employees. That is, again, the, the tech side and the, yeah. the folk side are, um, we have a clinical team, our health committee, which are Harvard and Stanford faculty, um, about 20 of those on uh, that help us really automate these experiences. Um, and then, of course, our AI nurses, yeah. which uh, would be close to 15,000, but those are not real people. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome. Well, that's great. So what's next for you guys? I mean, we're heading into, you know, a brand new year here. What, what's on the horizon for you. I know you, you've talked a little bit about some of the clinical studies that you've done. I understand you have some new validation there. So, but what else? What's next? Yeah. So uh, we really believe in clinical outcomes because this is a really important time to show clinical proof. So recently we came out with a couple of really interesting studies. We showed a 1.1 point A1C reduction for 100% AI interventions. And, and that is quite similar to the live nurse network um, services out there. But we're able to deliver that standardized at scale and 50% less in terms of cost okay. um, because of the AI. And, and so uh, the 1.1 point A1C reduction is really equivalent to a 21% um, reduction in stroke-related deaths. Um, we've uh, really showed some really exciting um, hypertension results as well, uh, showing close to uh, an 8.4-point uh, reduction in systolic. Uh, so excited about these yeah. clinical results. Um, so next year, I'm excited to really build um, at scale these results and really showcase um, that you know AI can be standardized and, and improve that scale across the platform. Um, we're excited about adding customers, so we're really busy launching customers in January right Yay. now. More jumbo employers <laughs> and regional health plans. Fantastic. <laughs> A little big, I know, but... Um, I have to tease you, yeah, sorry. <laughs> no, fair enough. Uh, all these NDAs. I love um, it. <laughs> and, um, and then we have, um, we're really excited. We're, we're going into prevention, um, so so clinical robustness, but at broader scale. So uh, obesity, kind of metabolic syndromes. Um, we are doing uh, behavioral health and mental health counseling using cognitive behavioral therapy. Good. Uh, so we're launching those shortly with partners. Oh, exciting. Well, this is great. I love that you're thinking so big. I feel like the key <laughs> takeaway on this is scale, scale, scale. I love yeah, it. Julie, yeah. good luck to you. I hope we catch up with you again soon. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you. I'm Jessica DeMassa with WTF Health. Thanks so much for joining us.